good afternoon everyone how are you all today i know we all are going through a very different and difficult situation due to the covid-19 hope you are all safe thank you for joining this webinar myself jos menachiri from bulwark technologies we are a value added distributor focused on information security products and solutions bulwark has been operating in the middle east region with a head office in dubai for the last 20 years in india we have been here for the last 2 years being in the security industry for the last 2 decades we represent around 25 security vendors in the middle east region and around 10 of them in india bulwark has got an extensive network of channel partners and customers in the middle east and india today we are with one of our vendors hemdal security a company offering information security solutions like endpoint security edr solution patch management dns security and cloud email security including dmark this webinar is for the channel enablement and also to introduce hemdal security products to the our partners in india we have mr bogdan gelaskyu from hemdal security Bogdan is a security consultant based in their office in Romania and the partner manager for India. Some housekeeping guidelines. All the attendees will be on mute during the session. If you have any questions, please use the chat window. We will be answering them either during the presentation or towards the end of the session. You can always reach out to Bulwark team for any queries afterwards. or for a product demo poc or for some pricing information we'll be happy to assist you with this let me hand over to bogdan for taking you through the company overview product information and also to address your queries thank you bogdan for joining us today over to you now thank you very much joseph for the introduction So our company name is called Heimdall Security. My name is Bogdan Gelescu. I'm partner manager, channel manager and also con con security consultant at Heimdall Security for the India market. I will start off first of all mm, giving you a brief discussion about Heimdall Security, what we are doing and also by the end of this meeting we will see exactly what technology we are offering and the uh, small appliances. Heimdall Security it's a young and dynamic cybersecurity company formed in the year 2014 in Denmark Copenhagen originally it is a product developed by a cybersecurity consultancy firm called CSIS since then we are developing new technologies and providing intelligence to protect over 1 million devices globally against cyber criminal attacks and data security breaches we were nominated for the ansom uh, for the best anti ransomware anti malware solution of the of the year in 2018 and we were the finalist in the same event in 2019 winning the second place at computing security awards we are pleased to announce our partnership with bulwark technology that is one of the biggest value added distributor for it security solutions in the india market and we have managed to work with the leading intelligence in the world for example fbi and europol in terms of fighting cyber crimes because our powerful intelligence sent <clears throat> why is that because instead of looking at the actual malware we are extremely strong on looking on the infrastructure from where the malware comes or where the malware is delivered from One of our core focuses is to understand the map out on online infrastructure of the hacker and that approach is more unique than the file and cost base detection and that's what really differentiates ourselves over the past less year against the competition. How technology can make a big difference? Idea and products combined made our product mature and the result is quite amazing. as i've mentioned before we've managed 
to bring in our journey in India market bulwark. Also, our set of skills and competence also managed to bring in the family modern equities. They are all based on the rise of the software as a platform for business, society, and also for the economy. What Heimdard offers as a company is a unique, as the product covers the most extensive amount of the verticals in security with the enterprise class technology. At the same time, our unique combination of the threat prevention at the machine traffic layer, that is our own intelligent set, combined with the next gen antivirus at the memory and file level with external intelligence, provides a unique multi-technology layer and multi-intelligence layer approach. Today, most of us understand that breaches are everywhere. At Heimdall Security, we stop breaches, period. So we know that sounds like an unbelievable claim, but it's a claim we make with confidence and based on solid track record. Heimdall Security is not a newcomer in the employee protection space. In fact, in the last six years, we've been on this mission to protect organizations. Our focus is to mature the cyber defense with unique complementary capabilities. Criminal can easily bypass behavior and cause and code scanners like antivirus, as well as a firewall, unleashing devastating ransomware attacks or creating data breaches that will damage your organization. What we can do with our products is to unlock an entire arsenal of higher network scanning technology, recursive DNS, perimeter defense, bloom filter detection, proactive and reactive management, cloud-based solution. Tor foresight is the code autonomous solution to combat the next gen antivirus. Also, it is against ransomware, malware, other enterprise threats. 100% compatible with our existing solutions and other Heimdall security modules that you will see in our product portfolio. Together with a software management that automatically updates your vulnerable softwares, so you don't have to do it manually, covering also the email security niche and adding also a new layer of protection at the firewall level called Forseti. So we've managed to cover all these gaps in the, in the environment, offering reactive measurements together with reactive. That being said, first of all, I want to start with our product portfolio. At this point, we have six products in our pipeline that can be used, mixed and matching between using one consolidated dashboard, one single license, cloud-based solution. I will start taking the first box that is our prime product called Thor Foresight. I've been mentioning about this proactive measurement, this complementary product to an antivirus, and that is known as the first part of our suite called Thor Foresight. Thor Foresight was the way we were born. It's a software that you use at the endpoint protection level, which is managed through the cloud. So you have centralized dashboard that provides you the possibility to coordinate all your data from the environment. Once you start Tor Foresight on the PC, one of the first things that we will do, it will add a traffic filter. So we will be the man in the middle of all traffic going to or from the device. Tor Foresight focuses on, on the communication level of your machine. It stands on the DNS HTTP and HTTPS level. But what is inside the product is traffic-based mitigation threat and vulnerability management. I will go more in depth explanation after I will present the product portfolio. Now, the next part, drilling down more, Thor Vigilance. Thor Vigilance is a next-gen antivirus. It is competitor to any product on the market 
It is the fire-based detection as we know it, but of course is a next-gen AV, which means it's not only based on intelligent, it has also heuristic engine tied to behavior monitoring machine learning detection in order to identify also unknown threats to our intelligence set. What we have managed to do during the last two quarters, we have witnessed a steady rise in ransomware and malware attack attempts delivered via brute force techniques. Companies are still unused to these attacks targeting their networks and servers directly, which makes some of them ideal victims. So our intelligence indicates that there are more than 4 million brute force attack attempts over the past 30 days. This is why we have launched a new feature called brute force attack detection as part of our Thor Vigilance Enterprise module, which automatically detects and blocks such attempts done by malware and ransomware operators try to find a foothold. So this feature, it's a market leading technology that protects every endpoint by default together also with our USB blockage strengthens the overall security of all organizations using Thor Vigilance solution. What we are recommending also to our partners is from SMBs to large enterprise, brute force attack resistance has become a critical asset so that's why we have managed to embed it in our product. Moving on to the next part, Thor admin privilege. It's one of the best products that we have right now together with Thor Foresight. Why is that? Because it gives you more control. It gives you also flexibility to the users. So it's like a win-win situation for end user and also the IT administrators. The reason why we added this product is because it's one of the most attractive technologies right now on the market. And you know it as Privilege Access Management PAM solution. Also, it speaks very, very well with all other modules that we have in our portfolio because you can mix and match in between. You can store foresight with Thor admin privilege. You can store vigilance with Thor admin privilege or email security with Thor admin privilege or you can use Thor admin privilege as a standalone PAM solution. So the result here is, if we see from traffic-based mitigation process, Thor foresight, or file-based mitigation process, Thor vigilance, a malicious activity, we actually tell admin privilege that this user cannot escalate his rights because that's the first thing that a hacker will do if it is compromised. Privileged accounts or administrative or highly empowered accounts are attractive to targets like this. So a PAM project for sure will highlight the necessary controls to apply and to protect these accounts. We should be prioritized via risk-based approach. That means our consolidated dashboard on the cloud. So admin cover human and non-human non system accounts and support a combination of on-prem, cloud, and as well, AppyKey for automizing the environment. So we are the first ones that we managed to achieve this. No one on the market from what I have seen, they don't really manage to combine this type of technology. So we have DNS filtering. We have patching, we have antivirus with four layers of protection, we have firewall management embedded, brute force attack, and also configuring and managing escalation and de-escalation of administration as on the endpoints. Together with one of the newest products in our portfolio for SETI, that it's a perimeter recursive DNS filtering. And through this module, we can offer intrusion prevention system, intrusion detection system, and host intrusion detection system technologies. Because we can block and detect network-based threats 
we can prevent command and control server connections, prevent data leakages, log network traffic and see how it's doing and what they are doing in the environment. Also track the history on the threats that were unknown but become unknown, uh, but become known. We are able also to hunt for network APTs and network malware through this part of our city. As I mentioned, this is the proactive and reactive part of the product. For safety is on perimeter, for foresight EDR, for vigilance EDR, for admin privilege EDR. Last but not least, email security. We have now a full bundled product in regards of email security. That is combined in two ways. Mail sentry email security and mail sentry fraud prevention. For the email security part, what we are offering on the market is something similar to the majority of the email security companies. We have embedded to stop malware, stop malicious errors, prevent phishing, prevent ransomwares, and also 90-day email relay included. But also the mail center fraud prevention. This is a little bit separate. Why is that? It's a plugin to Outlook and email account. The reason why we produced this product is that, as you have already seen in 2019, one of the things that company used to lose money on is compromised email accounts, which were sending false invoices. So. A business email compromise project can help security and risk leaders deal with phishing attacks and poorly defined business processes. So this project focuses on technical controls as well as organization specific processes breakdowns. So we can look at this product as a customizable machine learning option that can be integrated with the current email security. That is quite nice. And the competition against mail sentry is not that much because we have only one competitor with this type of product that is quite niche. That being said, the majority of the products are complementary to any products on the market, starting with firewall, starting with AV, and also email security. At the end, I want to tell you that this is our product in our portfolio. We, we are in a continuous growth. So by the end of this year, we will have three more products that will be embedded in our product portfolio. We'll have a total different dashboard that will be quite amazing. For sure, we will, if we will start a collaboration, you will see the entire roadmap of our products. And I'm quite sure that it will catch your eye. Here is a look, a closer look also that what we have in addition to our software, in addition to our services. Starting with managed detection and response. So our managed solution, it's a tailored product to keep an eye on the environment for you. So this offers maximum security with our technicians keeping an active eye on your system. So we have real-time alerting and advisory on malware infections together with executive summary report that is done 90 days, each 90 days. Also, with our technical team, what we have managed to combine is to try to remove and offer the support on malware removal. So if a malware infection is spotted by handout security, the next logical step is, of course, to remove. So our malware removal service helps you get professional help to inspect, assess, and remove even complex malware. Together with our prime support team that it's around the clock, 24 hours a seven. The SLA starts maximum during the weeks, 15 minutes and during the weekends, four hours. Last but not least, why we are seeing this as a key advantage to our partners? Because we have a very high sell in rate of 7.2%. 94 renewal rate, supported by also by 
a team of customer satisfaction management, support you in call-outs, webinars, pre-sales, post-sales, and so on and so forth, assist for on-site meetings if possible, help with sales training, protective deal registration system, invoice only through channel, and also if we manage to reward the partners, we will do it with the most pleasure. Unique product messages, that means we have a very, very good content team, design team that can provide this type of information in order to put the name there on the market and also go along with Hyundai Security as a partnership. That being said, I'm at the end of my product presentation in the slide deck. With your permission, I will go through the dashboard capabilities and then I will uh, present a little bit of appliance uh, in regards of our cybersecurity modules. The dashboard is a cloud-based platform with two-way identificated factor. And I'm proud to present our dashboard called Heimdall Security Platform. On the left side of the panel, we have the reporting status of the modules and every and all the necessary information that you need in order to filter out, use it as an audit trial, or engage in some infections that are mentioned by the reporting tool from the Hyundai Security Dashboard. On the right panel, we have the group policy settings from where you can select mix and match, add AD group, um, AD, AD group, group policies, it is directly integrated with Active Directory. It goes very well with a proxy server, and also it works perfectly with a VPN connection. I will start off with the left side of the panel. Thor foresight. On the Thor foresight path, we have four layers of protection. Dark layer guard, vector and detection, and exploit resilience, that is our patch management tool. Starting with the dark layer guard. The dark layer guard is a unique two-way traffic filtering engine that supports fully customizable white black listing. That means you have all your information here about all your computers in the environment. And then you want to filter all the malicious domains that are passing through the network and select which types are malicious. Through this platform, you can download the CSV file or download your API key in order to embed it into a symptom. Also, when you want to whitelist, blacklist the specific domains, you have the possibility to do that directly through the group policy. You have the possibility also using this dashboard to create more group policy to apply it in each department as you want. On the whitelisting and blacklisting, blacklisting, I will show you right away where you can find. So we have four foresight with the dark layer guard with different options that can be used with a VPN connection to loop back the IP address that we are putting on the DNS card. Also isolate the computer when vector and detection detects a highly infected computer. As you can see, you can select mix and match using a CSV file or add new whitelist domains directly here in the group policy and apply it in your environment. Going back to the reporting part, with your 
with it, your organization can block or the customer organization can block network communication to mitigate zero hour exploits, ransomers, as I mentioned, CNC server attacks, NestGen attacks, and data leakages. Using also our using also our threat to process correlation technology, we can identify attacking process also and provide a host intrusion capability for the endpoints. So using our threat to process correlation technology together with the vector and detection module will detect also second generation malware streams strains effectively delivering through this vector and detection host intrusion detection system tool at the machine traffic layer. Also embedded into vector and detection, we are using machine learning to establish compromise patterns and offering indicators of compromise or attack, IE and IAC. That it's quite unique add-on that will boost the endpoint security. So both combined, dark layer guard and vector and detection. Malware is blocked at the traffic level because before it can do any harm. Stopping this communication with the criminal infrastructure. 100% compatible with your existing solution or other basic solutions on the market, and also with the Heimdall products like Thor Admin Privilege or Email Security or Forset. Dark Player Guard and Vector and Detection are the code autonomous solution to combat next gen malware, ransomware, and other enterprise threats. By leveraging the unique technology gained through the blocking threats at the DNS, HTTP, and HTTPS level, Dark Layer Guard with Vector and Detection not only gives you the power to stop active attacks, but they also accelerate the investigation process because it provides you the host intrusion prevention system solution. What is really nice about Thor Foresight is that you can tailor this product in two ways. You can have the, the DNS traffic based mitigation filter that is combined with dark layer guard and vector and detection. And then you can use exploit resilience as a standalone product for patching. Going forward with exploit resilience. With exploit resilience, you can see and manage your software in your third party applications and at the same time achieve vulnerability management. Applications on the fly from where you are in the world and according to any schedule. Why is that? Because the platform is cloud. So you don't need to be connected to your local network in order to deploy the patches. So with our dashboard, With our dashboard, you continuously have an overview of essential software, its security status, and all the tools necessary to provide compliance. Everything in one place. Starting with the third party applications, what I want to showcase and give you a small example, we have the catalog with more than 100 applications embedded into our catalog. From where you can mix and match the software, you can uninstall, you can install, update or select the version of the product that you want to install in the environment. Together with Esprit Resilience, we have the asset view that I will showcase in a, in a moment, and also additional to ACCM tool that will give it the possibility to add also softwares that are built in house. Together with the schedule module that you can configure it directly in the group policy and apply it in your environment as you want, you can choose week of the day. You can choose the day of the month, active during time selection, inactive during time selection. Our patches are being tested and approved 
by our technical team. We have a special team that verifies these products each two hours. And all of the patches that are embedded into the catalog are encrypted. What does it mean? So when we are trying to push the uh, products, the patches from the dashboard to an endpoint, in between it might be possible a ransomware or an injection can happen. But this is 100% secure because we are encrypting the packages and we can assure you that we will not be injected with any exploit kits or zero day attacks. Together with the peer to peer option, in order to provide you a smooth policy deployment, we can push the patches to computers in the environment that are not really connected to the internet, that are connected only through the network. And you can imagine with only one computer connected to the internet and the other ones connected only to the network. So what we have combined here into our product, third-party applications, automatic deployment, on-the-fly updating, version management, third-party customizable time, day, delay of the deployment, global deployment, and also peer-to-peer -peer LAN. The next step is what to do. Microsoft Army. Also, we are partners with Microsoft, and all the patches that we are receiving are from Microsoft. We have the possibility to delay, to suppress the reboot, to select which patches you want to install on the environment. It can be used in parallel with ACCM WIC server. Microsoft updates from the operating system, but also you can overwrite the option. What is most important to understand is that through Hunter Security Microsoft Update Patching Machine, you can install also drivers. That is quite amazing what we are doing with our patching machine. Bring down more. We have the part of scheduling when you want to enable delaying Windows updates, when you want to enable the Microsoft updates schedule, when you want to enable the reboot schedule, when you want to force the reboot during time selection, and so on and so forth. Great. All these three layers of protection combined are making exploit resilience one of the powerful tools on the market in regards of patching. As I mentioned before, we have the Infinity Management Package that is an ECCM addition from where you can import any other products that are not in our catalog and then push it in the environment. As for the asset management view, we have the part with how we can see all the softwares that are installed in the environment without being necessary to be in our catalog. So here we have all the assets, and then you can select mix and match which you want to add to a specific group, which you want to uninstall or update them directly from the dashboard. All these options that you are seeing here are also embedded into the API key that can be correlated to a SIM tool. Great, dream now more. Now we will go on the antivirus part. It's a full next gen antivirus included with four detection engines, signature based, cloud based, with machine learning, sandboxing, and real time process injection scanning. That offers us uh, that offers us host based intrusion. Together with the new module that we have embedded into our next gen antivirus, firewall management on the EDR, from where you can mix and match and select what ports you want to apply, how do you want to put the protocol, which applications you want to block, allow or permit, and last but not least, firewall alerts. As I mentioned before, at this point with Thor Vigilance, we can detect brute force attack. You can select the timestamp directly from the dashboard and see exactly how many brute force attacks have happened in the past months. So as you can see here, 
This is an example from our environment. We have embedded this product like two months ago. And since then, we had 84 pages of root for the text. It is working quite amazing. Why is that? Because when we are configuring the Tor Vigilance module on the firewall part, we have the possibility to isolate the computer if an infection is happening. Block the RDP port when an infection is happening. Also, add the firewall rules directly here into group policy and apply it for your needs. You can select the name application port directions, both in and out. Also the protocol TCP, UDP, or any. It can be set up for domain, private, and public. That being said, Tor Foresight combined with Tor Vigilance, we created the name Thor Premium Enterprise. So what we are offering through our Thor Premium Enterprise product is DNS traffic based mitigation filter, patching machine, addition to ACCM, firewall management on the EDR, next gen antivirus, and also brute force attack detection and blockage. We will have soon also the part of USB blockage. It is not yet delivered into the product line, but it will be available in approximately two months. So from my experience in the cybersecurity world, it is quite a strong product at this point. This is why we've tried to bring in our family Bulwark as a trusted partner. Also, Malinequity came in our side and said, okay, we need to develop more and also bring on the table new technology and how we can do that by adding new modules and also new softwares. Bring down more. Thor admin privilege, the same. Tailored product, cloud solution in the same dashboard can be combined in between with foresight, with expert resilience, with the AV. What we can do and offer through the Thor admin privilege is quite simple. It is quite straightforward. As you can see in our history tab, you have all the notifications when an end user tries to elevate or de-elevate the administration rights on the endpoints. We will have also an app on the mobile phone from where the IT administrator can decline or accept the specified elevation. I'll give you a short example how it works. You just need to go into the agent, request admin privilege, wait a few seconds, it will require a reason why you need administration rights on the endpoint. Let's put in test, elevate, and I'm set up on auto mode. Now I have access as administrator in my laptop. And if I want to install, it will just require my username and password from from the logging in my laptop. But I will lose my fingerprint because it's much easier. As you can see, my fingerprint has been accepted and I can install the software as an administrator. As I mentioned before, it brings a better overview on the environment. Why is that? Because with Tor Foresight, we detect we stop the hacker attack directly from the malware. With Tor Vigilance, we remove the, uh, the malicious domains. And with Tor Admin Privilege, we are telling to cut the connection on the administration rights. So from my opinion, this is quite a strong tool in order to cover approximately 70, 80% of the gaps in the environment. Last but not least, mail sentry. As I mentioned, it's an add-on to Outlook O365. It gives you an overview. What emails are coming in, 
what emails are coming are going out together with the subject resolution we have 125 vectors that are filtering all the emails that are going through your inbox mail entry fraud detection will filter only the specified emails that are related to fraud like when a swift code or ibm code was changed from an invoice or when an invoice is attached and it might be possible it is injected with a phishing attack. You can do this very easily through Mail Sentry Enterprise. I am quite sure you are asking uh, you are asking yourself right now, where is the mail security part? That is a separate uh, that is a separate part of the product. We have just managed to finish the production line last month, and during middle of June or middle of July, it will be available also into the production. At this point, it is available in the beta version of the dashboard. You can use it, you can test it, but in the production line at this point, it is not available. So that's why you will not see it here as part of the dashboard, but it will be in the near future. The last part of the product, as I mentioned, we can coordinate starting with host intrusion prevention system, host intrusion detection system, also managing your assets. But together with the hardware management directly from the dashboard, you can create a full audit trial for the enterprise. So you have all the information that you need about your computer. If you are clicking directly on the menu for the specified computer, you can see the machine info. You can see the logs from the machine. You can see the domain blocks, that is that means dark rare guard, patching machine, firewall rules, pending approvals, and so on and so forth. As for the view machine info, I will just click it here. You have the full information that you need in order to see what you have in your environment. You have the device info, hardware info, memory and disk serial, capacity, operating system information, antivirus. DNS info and so on and so forth. In the Arctic clients, you have all the necessary information that you need. How many endpoints you have installed in your environment? How many active servers you have in your environment? How many modules are being enabled from the group policy to the specified machine? You can select which type of group policy you want to apply for the specified machine. You can select if you want to isolate the specified machine if an infection is coming. You can revoke the license, unrevoke the license. You can stop the RDP port blockage directly from the active clients. At the end, what I wanted to show you is that what we are bringing on the table is quite a valuable asset. Why is that? Because we have the possibility to showcase how much money you are saving if you are using our product. For example, if you are using patching machine, calculated based on the average cost of a central European IT employee working a non-automated patch management system with 1,000 devices, average salary 49k euro per year, workload four software packages per month, 48,000 updates per year, inclusive implementation and follow-ups. That means a lot of money. So what we are trying to show in this time frame between January and May, we have saved 1,400 euros by using our exploit resilience. Also, at the end of this meeting, we are approaching the end of this meeting, we offer a free NFR license of Hamdar Security. It takes just a few minutes to sign up, and you can easily see for yourself how you can get better protection, better performance, better value out of our endpoint security product. Thank you very much. This was my full product presentation for today. If you have any questions. Any questions there? 
no no questions uh, So we have 10 minutes on uh, 10 more minutes on our hands. So feel free to, to ask me any questions. For this NFR license program, is the minimum or the maximum number that the number of uses? No. You can use it on 12,000 licenses if you want. <laughs> yeah, for that, uh, the, uh, based on number of employees in the company, in the, for the partners. Correct. Correct, correct, correct. It's free of charge, and the uh, the the, um, the validation of the license can be also offered for minimum money without any hesitation. Okay. We have one more question. Uh, like enough for licenses yes, for how many years? From Raju. So if you are um, having a long-term relationship for more than three years, you can have it for three years without any hesitation. Also, we have one more question uh, from Inayat. Uh, could we add hash manually? If yes, how in the endpoint security? Sorry, uh, can you please repeat the question? Can we add? Could we add hash manually? If yes, how in endpoint security? And at this point, we cannot do that directly manually. No. Okay. And we have one more from Naresh. Who are the competitors? What is the USP against the competitors? First of all, um on the competition side the products can be complementary to any antivirus on the market starting with the thor foresight that it's an additional tool it's a complementary to antivirus so it goes alongside with any vendor on the market second of all admin privilege that's a pam solution works perfectly with firewall management with uh, antivirus with email security gateway third of all mail for prevention can be added to any email security software like Barracuda, Mimecast, Hornet, and so on and so forth. Second of all, we are covering a lot of niches using a consolidated dashboard. One license, one device, one agent. So you don't need to use different softwares in order to apply exploit resilience. PAM solution, DNS filtering. So these added modules are just a license. Uh, we just need to add the license, it will become active. That is correct. We have one more question. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Hello, Sorry, we didn't hear the question, uh, Midan. Can you repeat that question? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, it is. Is it purely a on cloud solution, or could we manage on hybrid network? It can be managed on hybrid, but uh, some modules, not all of them. I will. Uh, I will. Um, showcase. I will send an email to the person who has, or to you directly, in order to respond to that question. Hello. Uh, at this point, it's on cloud. If you are asking also about on-premise solution, uh, it will be on the roadmap, but not during this year. Or by the end of this year, we will have also an on-premise solution. But on hybrid, yes, it works on hybrid servers, for example. The majority of the products are working with the Microsoft operating systems. And also Macintosh system as Androids and Androids.
any other questions so one more question is is the solution uh generic or vertical specific uh, education manufacturing hospitality extra yes we are using this product in any verticals especially with military or our uh, or uh, uh, maritime hospital public ones we have clients in all the all, all of these verticals for example i'm working with a project with all hospitals from portugal with all products starting with the patching module because we are using peer-to-peer -peer and it doesn't uh, wait that much on the uh, internet bandwidth. Any further questions? Any other uh, questions? Yeah. Uh, not yet. Uh, not received any further. Okay. For sure, you will learn more about our products. Um, after this meeting um, with the Bowler team, they will send me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. One yes, please. Second. Yes, yes, without problem. Yeah. Uh, we have mentioned uh, we can revoke any affected device. Uh, so yes, how, the license key. Yeah. What is the. You can revoke device? it. Receive. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. So what is another device that is supported? Or what, what was the question? Another device is affected with same attackers. Hello? Can so the rule is applied the same as... <laughs> yes, please repeat the question. So we have mentioned uh, we can revoke any affected device. So what if another device is affected with the same attackers? At the same time, we'll block both of the endpoints or uh, devices that are infected because you are applying a group policy directly from the firewall management. You are applying for all the computers that are in this group policy. So if three, four more computers are infected, it will block all of them directly on the RDP port together with the dark layer guard module that it slows down the network connectivity in order to isolate the infection. So it goes both ways, both at the traffic level and also on the EDR using Thor Foresight and Thor Vigilance. So it will block automatically? Correct. It will, a, it will cut the connection from the internet, not to permit uh, spreading, uh, spreading the, uh, the infection in the environment. Okay. Any further questions? Yeah. We have one more. Uh, in the present work from home situation, most of the users computers or laptops in this case will all the modules like patch management vulnerability etc can be implemented correct because it's a cloud based solution and all of the products are working with a vpn connection and also a proxy server because we can configure the proxy server directly from the group policy as you can see here Okay, uh, Mithun, anything further or we can just uh, end the session now? No, uh, no more questions. Yeah, we can wind up. Okay. All right. Thanks yes, a lot, uh, all the attendees, uh, for taking part in this session. And thank you, Bogdan, for this beautiful uh, presentation and that, uh, that clarification on the queries. So going forward, if you have got any sort of uh, queries, uh, please contact Bulwark team. We'll be able to assist you with the answers. Then uh, even the NFR licenses, if you somebody wants that, please contact our Bulwark team and uh, then they will provide that uh, the, the license accordingly. That is correct. Thank you very much everybody for joining in. Thank you very much Bulwark team for managing the, the meeting. Uh, it was quite amazing. I wish you a lovely day, stay safe and stay healthy. All right. Thank you all. Stay safe. Thank you, Bogdan. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.